Hello everyone. So I thought of doing a follow up to the outline video I did last time in this video uh, to answer a few questions I got uh, after doing that video. So the first one is uh, actually there are two questions I have, I hope to answer and improve the material. First one is is this jittering that's easy to fix and the next one is you can see if two of these objects are overlapping you can see the outline is merged so you don't see the outline of individual object anymore you see an outline that encompass all of these objects that you have marked to render in custom depth pass so those are the two questions I am going to answer so the first question jittering can be avoided by changing the blendable location of this material you have to select this main material node and under post process material settings you can see blendable location if you set it to be for tone mapping you can try other options as well and experiment yourself what happens so by using before tone mapping you can get rid of the jittery and the next uh, question is a bit complicated but that's also not very hard to solve how to get in outlines for individual objects so for that instead of dividing uh, the result here with the fixed number we can derive a dividing value based on the distance from the camera to the pixel being rendered so we can get the distance using um, we already have the custom depth here if i use a vector length we can get the distance uh, from the camera to this object and then if i divide this value with the distance and apply you can see you can get an uh, outline for each individual object see so it's actually the intensity is a bit different but still you do get an outline right and if you want to get a more clear outline we can use this uh, method if you multiply this with uh, decimal value let's say 0.2 and apply you can get a more clear outline for each object see so right so you can see the outline of this object this hand and also this hand and also this outline so they are not merging anymore okay uh, yeah and also if you put some object in front of these characters that is not rendering in the custom depth you can see through that object like this see all right so those are the few improvements that i wanted to do for this material and i'm gonna stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available here in the patreon page Link could be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye